Those kidney stones are the stones which you will find inside the kidney and because of that sometimes you will feel pain in kidney. Because of that many times urine formation can be hindered as well as we can have some problem in our lower abdominal part. Now we start talking about what are the different types of kidney stones we can have. We can have basically four types of kidney stones and all these four types of kidney stones have different reasons. We'll start talking about uh, the first one. This is the uric acid stone. This is not the most common kind of stone. This is the second most common kind of stone we can have in our kidney. The first most important, what has to be discussed uh, frequently, this is calcium stone. Let us complete uh, uric acid stone, then we'll go to the uh, calcium stone, then simultaneously we'll be talking about strawberry stone and of course cysteine stone. Uh, I'll start talking about uric acid stone. Before uric acid stone, we have to understand when uric acid stone can be formed. Whenever we used to have level of uric acid is higher in our blood, by this time our kidney start filtration of those uric acid from our blood to outside the body. When it start filtration with the help of its uh, nephron, then it accumulates those uric acids here in the renal pelvis. This is the zone, this is also called renal pelvis. Uh, these uh, groves are called renal calyces. Apart from this, we can see some triangular bodies are here. These are called renal pyramids. These renal pyramids used to hold our nephrons and these nephrons are responsible for filtration of uh, uric acid from our blood to here. Now, whenever our uh, uric acid is filtered from our bloodstream to here, by this time what happens? This uric acid can start accumulation of stones. This kind of aggregation, if happening for a longer time, that can result larger stone. If the stone size is larger, then that will create problem. Otherwise, many times, when stones formed here for a temporary time, stone can come out through this ureter via urinary bladder and urethra stone can easily come out. But many times whenever we feel any problem in our kidney due to stone, by this time if we go for diagnosis, we find that the size of the stone actually much, much larger than it can come out through this pipe. Now, we will start talking about the second one that is the uh, calcium stone. The calcium stone is the most common type of stone what we can have. And this is a very general kind of stone. This is formed due to uh, the accumulation of calcium in our body. We already have covered this one. Now we'll be talking about this one. This is a calcium stone. The calcium stone is actually formed because of the higher level of calcium in blood. When we can have high level of calcium in blood, two types of calcium stones can, can be formed. One is the calcium phosphate stone, another one is calcium oxalate stone. In both the cases, what happened? The common thing is that whenever we are having high level of calcium in our blood, because of that, we can have stone here. But a reverse philosophy we have to apply here if we are talking about parathyroid gland. From parathyroid gland, we used to have a special hormone that is called parathyroid hormone or parath hormone. The parathyroid hormone basically increases the level of calcium in our blood. And the reverse hormone is there that is called thyrocalcitonin, which is another hormone which is released from our thyroid gland, which usually minimizes the level of calcium in our blood. So which is actually good for us if we are talking about kidney stone here. Uh, in simple logic, we can say if parathyroid hormone is increasing the level of calcium in blood, then maybe this is a hormone which is also responsible for the formation of stone here. But one more thing I must tell you, parathyroid hormone is also responsible for the reabsorption of calcium. If the level of calcium is higher because of any reason in our blood, our kidney will filter more calcium here and because of that microcrystal aggregation will start 
and because of that we will have calcium stone here and calcium stone is the most common type of stone again I am telling you that's what you have to remember this is very important stravite stone it is uh, the third important form of stone which is also uh, uh, very important to be studied here without this we cannot complete our kidney stone study uh, stravite stone forms when we our kidney is uh, not uh, well not healthy for a long time our, we are having any form of infection or any form of any other kind of problems in our kidney for a longer time this problem is this is the stone which cannot be formed if the problem is acute if any chronic kidney problem we are having because of that also a special form of stone can be formed that is called stavite stone Stavite stone formation is uh, not that common if we are comparing this kind of stone with above two types. The last one that is called cysteine stone. Cysteine stone, uh, cysteine is a kind of amino acid. Whenever we used to have huge amount of, high amount of cysteine rich food or amino acid rich food where cysteine is more available, we also can have this kind of stone. So this is a stone which is also not that common just like strawberry stone. So these are the different variations or variety of stones we can have in our kidney and because of that our kidney health can be disrupted. To avoid and get rid of stone what we have to do? What can be done to get rid of those kidney stones? That's a different story. That is a matter of medical science but we can talk here about one more thing that is the prevention against those kidney stone to prevent your kidney stone formation what you can do basically you can do one important thing that is you should drink more water if you drink every day more water then we can get rid of kidney stone apart from this we should do some jogging walking running cycling this kind of activity if we involves ourselves comparatively more then we can have less risk of kidney stone apart from this we should careful whenever we are eating anything our food should not contain too much uh, what i can say exactly protein too much calcium right if we are consuming too much protein and that is not used inside our body that also can create problem if we are taking too much calcium and our body is not metabolizing those calcium and the calcium is freely available in our blood in higher amount because of that also we can have kidney stone to get rid of all these things we must remember what to eat when to eat some people can have calcium deficiency also so for them it is important that they have to take calcium but I, here I am talking about those who have abundant calcium in their blood they should take care of it now, if we are having any special problem in our kidney, so for any, any kind of problem, because of any problem we are suffering, right, then we must go to doctor and we must consult with our physician so that the problem is chronic or acute. If the problem is chronic, then we must also check our kidney for a special type of stone that is called strawberry stone. Prevention is better than cure. So, if you can prevent formation of stone by drinking lots of water and exercise and all these things and taking care of your food that is going to be better with compared to later on treatment thank you so much thank you everyone